A single star shines alone, but a candle can light many others and still remain lit. Today, I decided to be a candle. What's up, brownies? So in this series, I'm highlighting uh, positivity and positive vibes, things that are more lighthearted. And this video is dedicated to J. Cole and the way he decided to respond by just, listen, let's not take this beef, let's not take it any further. And I really like that. I thought he was on his grown man. But the way that other black men are responding to this, I'm going to be honest, I find it to be disgusting. The big problem with the world at large, but specifically with this community, is how much we glorify conflict. What this reminds me of is when Cat Williams did his interview at the top of the year with Club Shay Shay and how it went viral because of how people just loved, it's like their bloodthirst for tearing each other down right and i couldn't help but notice that weeks later when godfrey another black comedian got on club shay shay and said something i think that was even more poignant than what cat williams said it never went nearly as viral and i really haven't heard many people talking about it at all i want to play that clip and then i'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary showing exactly why so many people are getting it wrong with their reaction to j cole that white male solidarity they they share each other's they get on each other's podcast right. they help each other all the time we ain't real talk we are why? Because here's the problem. We always have air our grievances on public platforms. I don't understand what is this addiction of calling each other out in public all the time. I don't understand. We're the only ones that kind of do this. And of course we watch because controversy is always fun, but we should be like liking each other's shit. It's the truth. Yeah. We don't help each other. Even on, even on social media, we won't like you. To help you, that's always been a problem with us in the first place, though. It is. It's our it unity. Has. Can I tell you a story? There was a guy I knew who was a big time drug dealer. He goes, but I went to China to do make this deal with the the, the mafia over mm -hmm. there. But when I got into their headquarters, there, yeah. they were so organized. It was scaring the out of me. They were so calm and so organized. They were sharp. And the guy, he's talking to the head dude. He goes, you know, the one thing about black people, you guys are. You're, you're the trendsetters. Everybody copy black people. You're so creative. Your music, your style. Everybody like black people. We're jealous of you. But the one thing you don't have is unity. Very easy to break you up. And this is in the drug game. Everybody got uh, mafia, Italian, Russian mafia. We got Irish mafia. And black folks can't even organize crime. We yeah. like as long as we, if you're here, we're here. We cool. Yes. But don't get here. And you better not get here. Which is Cause then, up. cause then I got to try to do something to whittle you down so you come back to my level or I elevate to your Or level. you get here and you pull the ladder up. Don't let anybody else climb. Yes. So how do you feel about what Godfrey had to say? Do you agree or do you disagree? And also to what extent do you agree or disagree if you're kind of half in and half out? Like for instance, I know that other, you know, groups have different beefs, but it does tend to elevate and escalate in a way within, you know, our culture that it doesn't with others. And then also speaking of culture, I think that we need to get this understood. Rap is a genre of music. That's it. That's all. Anybody can rap. You have white rappers you know from any type of background or who live any old type of way it is strictly a genre of music now hip-hop on the other hand that is a culture right it's a way of life and so there are people who are rapping rapping as a verb within hip-hop and yes they do have battles right but there's a bit of artistry that goes into it Rap can just be noise. Let's be clear. But it seems like with hip hop, because you're taking an art form seriously, you're going to have more bars. It's going to be more so about the challenge. Like even if somebody gets you or bests you in a way, you can acknowledge, oh yeah, you got me right there. Oh, that bar was cold or whatever. And then you can move on with your life. That is hip hop, 
right? There's a bit more artistry and a bit more of a skill set to it. With rap, that can just be noise. You can have it or not have the skill set part of it. But also with rap, here's my problem about the whole situation. Rap also tends to lead to uh, slow singing and flower bringing when you get to battles in rap. And that's the part where I'm kind of looking at people sideways who are just like I said, with this blood thirst for I want more. I want more. He responded. He said what he had to say. But then also he just squashed the whole thing like this has gone far enough. And for people to be calling him weak and all of that, I think that you all are really forgetting how sideways this can go and how quickly it can get there. So let me just give you a visual reminder of how a lot of times with rap beefs or you taking rap outside of just a genre of music and you try to make that a way of life because a lot of it is rooted in massage noir and violence. That's what it tends to breed and attract. And it doesn't have to even just be from that actual rapper. It can be from onlookers. It can be from fans, from people that are in their camp, or like with Nip, just a violent, jealous hater trying to stop his shine. And these people can come in and mess it up for everybody. And now we got a funeral to plan. So I just want to say, I appreciate the grown man action of saying like, listen, you said what you said. I said what I said. And now, you know, bruh, I really don't have no beef with you. Let's be for real. I'm a fan of your work and you're a fan of mine. Let's just move on. I think that's the grownest thing that I've seen in a while. And I think an honest person should be able to admit that for as much as black men blame black women for everything, a lot of times if somebody is completely taking away your peace or rooting for your downfall is actually another black man. But, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion as long as you can voice your opinion respectfully. So please do so in the comments. Thank you for watching. I hope that you subscribe. Falling away, so you.